out of it and then be blind you. But welcome to another Fire Mountain video, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. We are here at Stone Lakes and uh, we have just reached our pit blind, I believe it's called. <laughs> pit blind, it's a hole in the ground. Uh, you sit in it and uh, you're kind of underground and you're eye level with the ground so you can pop up and get those birds real quick. Yeah. We're looking for mallards. We just had to walk across some sheep like water over here. It was pretty shallow, but we weren't sure where we were headed because it just had blind that way. And then we found this on this Let's sick little island. So, yeah, open her up. Oh, oh, we've got stools Seats and everything. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be a fun hunt. Mucho fun hunt. Alright. It's pretty dark. I'm still using my cell phone for recording device. <laughs> because RIP to the camera. Yeah, so we can't film too much of the setup. But we'll catch you at shooting light. And uh, hopefully we'll get some birds to show for it. Well, we will. I promise <laughs> you that. <laughs> not, not, hey, when you're doing stuff like this, man, you a pro. Alright, here we are. Thought we'd give you guys a little update on how well, our blind looks. We tried to brush it up as best we could. Here, take a seat in there. Uh, Let's see what it looks like. Right here. Well, we did the best we could with what we had. But we're thinking if we get the back of us covered up, it should help. So, can't really see the decoy spread. Yeah, it's too dark, but we put some geese out. So hopefully that'll get some maybe some honkers in here. If not, just confidence decoys. So now we'll see y'all shooting light. It's time to kill some ducks. 30 minutes. I mean I could not be happier right now. We said we'd see you at shooting light, but we couldn't resist. We're just we're just too excited right now. So we, wanted, we wanted to do a little. Oh, you want a little uh, custom tour, huh? MTV Cribs Duck Blind Edition. MTV Cribs Duck Blind Duck Blind Edition. <laughs> Welcome to my crib. Uh, I do have a roommate, uh, Jace McFetridge. He's all right. Uh, basically, what we got over here is a little hanging hook. Got the duck jacket with all the goodies in there, license and everything important. We got yeah, some got, Swisher got Sweet some cigars. cigars. Is that a uh, celebratory cigar? That is a or like a post duck kill cigar. It might be. I got two in there, so maybe okay. we'll do a pre celebratory and a post celebratory. <laughs> got the handy dandy lighter. We got my one big boy shell. This is called a three inch shell. Uh, and then we got a two and three four, so you can tell the tell the size difference. Two and three four inch, three inch. Basically, this holds more uh, steel that you send down range towards the ducks. So this one is better. That's gonna be your goose shell, huh? And we got a little bit of warm water uh, mixed with some honey. Go for the early morning, and uh, you know that's about it. We got a little spider right here. We got some roly polies. We got some pets. But man, we're kind of out of the wind right here, and uh, hidden under our. You know, homemade uh, kind of neck neck covering, back head, back of the head covering, because we are expecting them to enter from behind us and fly down into yeah. a U shape. So they land right in the U, and uh, you we know, got a strong wind to our face right now. Yeah, strong wind. So the ducks will be flying more than if there was no wind, and you know, hopefully we're just gonna pop up. They're gonna fly right over us. We'll get a good overhead shot. And geez, they'll land right there. We'll jump out, go grab them. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot wait yeah, for what is about to happen. There's gotta be death from below and death <laughs> falling down from above. <laughs> Can hear some geese right now. You hear them? I hear them. Yeah. Keep my nips into this. I might blind you. You don't care though. That's okay. For the video, for the sale. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Second oh yeah. That actually, no, actually, actually is like really. Second video. I'll do it. Is it still going? Okay. All right. What's up, everyone? Now you guys can see uh, my bedroom with the blind here. You know, great roommate Spencer Beatty over here. Boom. I'm pretty simple. I don't have much. Just got my water that I almost drank all of already. My shells, an extra well, a camera battery, the GoPro, some extra batteries on deck ready to go to plug in when this thing dies and just a backpack full of jackets so not as nice as spencer's area he's got it he's got it made well over there but um i'm ready i'm ready to shoot a duck or two let's do it 
Let's go. Chug, chug, chug. That's brandy. <laughs> Here we are. Dude, hit your first call. We had some beast over here. I could. Try it. It's the best I got. Dude, it's, it's giving us a look, you know what I mean? Because they're either not going to come or they're going to come. See? They're not going to come, bro. But it's like we weren't, we weren't, we're never going to come without the call. You know what I mean? Damn right they weren't. <laughs> they're going to come with the call. But yeah, that was, it's fun. It's fun to call. But when you, it's like, dude, did I just bust them? Did I make them leave? Some sand hills. What is that? that? I like the sound of that. Oh, no, we're shooting, we're shooting, we're shooting. Shoot. Get ready, get ready, we're shooting. I'm shooting, I'm shooting. Okay, get ready. Dude, Dude. Oh, they're just too far. No, we can. Nah, hit your call, hit your call, hit your call. They just nailed some ducks. Maybe they'll fly over. Damn it! Dude, those are their BBs. We just got peppered. Oh, I didn't even know what that was for a sec. That was oh funny. God. But that, I'm still pissed, bro. Is it... Gosh. Darn it. Come to us. God, I thought we for sure something was going to happen right there. Yeah, geese flying over us. Dude, we, dude if we had like... Long ass, another. another, another, another. They're pretty high, but they're coming to your right. Oh, is that a sniper? Sniper. Coming to your right. Oh, yeah. Okay, they're curving over here. Okay, Jason, this is my door. Jason, chill. This is my door. Okay. You're ducks over us, so. Oh, can you shoot those? are looking tasty. They look interested, dude. They look interested. Oh my god. Turn around. Oh, there's something that fiddled over there. We're done just calling left and right now. Hitting the goose pole out there. The geese are starting to fly. I think we're back. I want to shoot something. Oh, nice. Just pop, 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 pop. He flared as soon as he heard those gunshots. He, he flinches yeah, you when saw he hears gunshots. Yeah. yeah, he was flinching. He's he like, flinched. He knows guns. <laughs> he knows guns. That's another, another group. I know now we're both just like once once we both get into ripping calls, then like none of us can say shit. Geese flying over us, ducks flying over us, just too damn high. Just they're on the border, dude. It's just they playing with fire it's right like, there. Yeah, it's like ten yards, ten yards closer, and they are breakfast, lunch, and dinner. God, those geese, those. Uh, yeah, dude. Imagine a a good little flock of honkers just cupping it. To our spread. Oh my god, I would done so. I'm going headshot, 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 headshot.
Hey, are seagulls huntable in December? <laughs> we hunt the seagulls. Might be seagull season. Seagull season. Steven Seagal season. Yo, what's going on everyone? Unfortunately, this is how our duck hunt had ended that day. Um, we had no luck. We didn't get any birds. We were really hopeful. We thought we were going to do really well, but just couldn't make it happen. We got only really got like two different scenarios where we actually fired off our guns and we just couldn't connect. What we were told by the workers who work at that Stone Lakes Refuge is that the ducks really don't show up, like the migratory ducks don't really show up till late December, early January, and we were hunting that. It was the last week of November, so I mean, you could say that, but the blind right across from us, we were watching them all day. They were shooting ducks, a lot of ducks, and they ended up with seven. I believe when we when we left, we asked how much they ended up with, and they got seven ducks that day. So anyways, that um, that was that for that hunt. This refuge is actually really unique. It's the only refuge, well, it's the newest refuge, state refuge in California, and by that, I think it was started in the 90s. I could be completely wrong, but I think that's what I heard. But um, basically, it's... Um, not operated by I think what is it maybe it's not it's not government ran or state ran shoot I was talking to one of the biologists about this and I'm, I'm blanking on the info here but basically they're not run on the uh, the internet like if you go if you try to apply for any other um, California wildlife refuge to hunt for waterfowl um, you just go online you can apply and all that stuff this refuge is different you have to apply um, with paper applications, they're free, which the rest of the applications for other refuges cost a dollar or thirty-two or something like that. This refuge is free, but it has to be a filled out a paper um, application, and then you have to send it in by mail or turn it in in person two weeks prior to the hunt date. And then they only have, I think, seven or six huntable blinds. That so there's only six hunting parties, parties of two six or seven I could be wrong there and there's no refills so it's either the people that get the reservations are there that day and hunt or they're not like there's no no lotto no sweat line no refills it's it's the people got drawn are the people hunting and that's it so it's a pretty unique refuge they're not hauling out a ton of ducks like some other refuges are but it was fun that uh, we got a chance to hunt there and I actually ended up drawing a second t week in a row we ended up going out the next week in hunting as well and that video is going to be coming shortly so be sure to stay tuned if you guys haven't already subscribe to the channel if you guys want to get notified when a video is posted click the little bell next to the subscription button and you'll get a notification every time we post a video anyways guys thanks for watching stay tuned because we got more videos on the way for you guys peace